positive. If you yes, Gary. Gary, how you doing, Gary? I'm doing okay. How you doing? Uh, not too bad. Listen, uh, Gary, let me cut right to the chase here. What's the longest bowel movement you've ever had? By that I mean actual length in inches. Well, me, I'm kind of unique. I'm like a rabbit. Mine comes out in little bit chunks. Little pellets? Little pellets. Great. So, do you have to eat special food to get it ready, like extra corn that night? You know, well, yeah, here. my roommate makes a lot of corn. A lot of corn, huh? It goes in one end, comes out the other, just the way it did when it went in. Great, you know, you seem like a man who enjoys his bowel movement. Oh, of course. As I do. Dan Jaheen for Hell's Half Hour, and I'd like to ask you a couple questions. Is that okay? Yeah, it is. All right, what's your name? Mike Bell. Mike Bell, how you doing, Mike? Pretty good, how you doing? Listen, I'm never taken. I will. Probably a couple feet long. Wow, so... If you wanted to, by doing sort of a squat walk, could you write your own first name in cursive? Probably, yeah. Probably could, huh? Hmm. It was long. Peace. It was brown. It was brown. It wasn't sort of a yellow? No. Was it chunky? No. Was it in the toilet? Yes, it was. So it coiled? Yeah. It coiled up. It, it wasn't like kind of laid out in the woods somewhere or anything? No. All right. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Oh, we're oh, back. <laughs> we're back. We're back. Hello? Hello? We take, thought we'd take enjoy a little pudding. Uh, <coughs> I thought we'd take a break for a little pudding and some raisins. Oh, I hate them. Oh, I you at home should partake in equally disgusting food, a Ben and Jerry's Mountain Bar. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. <sighs> Might delicious. I suggest any sort of zinger since its main ingredient is, in fact, human excrement. All zingers. Okay. I, I was especially touched by the fellow uh, making the comment, uh, the rabbit type an analogy. Poignant. Mm. Poignant. That's, that's Very good. beautiful. I'm sure a lot of viewers out there can relate with it. And you can expand on it. Deer, any sort of animal, since all animals are unique. It does, I wonder if it goes by the species. Well, see, I can sympathize with his comments, but I cannot empathize. Because, because you are not a rabbit. I'm not a chunky. Fellow. I'm not a bitty chunk kind of guy. I'm more of a... <laughs> I enjoy it. I have practiced for years, and I have gotten... Oops. I don't like to brag, yeah. but I have really extremely good sphincter control. I, you know... I can make a long one, a thick one. I, I gotta bring something up here. I gotta because it's it's been on my mind for a very long time. I sometimes I'll be sitting around. I'll I'll be saying I'm I'm not tired. Mm -hmm. I'm not hungry. I just I I wanna I wanna go to the bathroom. I just it's something I wanna do. It's a relaxing sort of thing. I don't wanna read a book. I don't wanna watch TV. Something in me is asking for something and. Sure enough, I take a trip down to the nearest toilet and well, you sit my, there and you really get a chance to think. My yes, exactly. Good, I, good I point. That's the no, one place. I, enjoy a good book. No, wait, here, this is a little. Oh yeah, yeah if you didn't understand what we were talking about, this is what we were referring to. But we have uh, pull up and pull down. Push, push, pull up. Wait, wait, wait. Pull down. See, it has like little tear marks. Wait, yeah, what is that? See, now I always thing. thought it was supposed to sit, and the thing was just. Oh! supposed to <laughs> fall. It's still good, just a few hairs. It's supposed to fall right. into the toilet. But, and then the whole then thing would be discarded. Mm. No, yeah, but, I would weight but, it down. It would weight that whole thing down. No, I, when you I figured it. this this little thing was supposed to like float. I always tear it off and make it float in the a water. A little boat. Yeah, kinda, and you can play a little, Sink the Battleship. No, it's a splash guard, really, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, so, so any, I kind of like making so when my it own hits splash it, When it hits it, right, it does a sort of... <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing, yeah. see, and then no into splash. the bowl. Yeah. There we go. Exactly. I understand. I understand completely. Hmm. Now, uh, perhaps an area of uh, uh, vomiting. And Chris, uh, I believe you had a song sweating. you wanted to share with us. Uh, Something you might have concocted while squatting. I. Uh, I uh, goes. I I don't know if I could sing it really, but it goes with something along. I I can urinate. I can defecate. Uh, simply vomit what I ate. Uh, so many so, ways. so much more fun uh, coming out than 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 going in or something. No, I, 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 I believe so I, I believe I, I believe I've got it by verbatim in, in in my mind. It goes a little something like, Oh, I can urinate, I can defecate, I can vomit what I ate. So many ways of letting my feet be in the form of feet. So. And then it repeats, That's of course, so deep. Of course. It, it repeats. It's a little loop kind of That's like. so deep, I'm getting the bends. I need to decompress with a little pudding. Oh! I'm just move this over here. I see a chunk that's calling my name right I about there. I don't really oh, see yeah. that the raisins or pellet-type objects are... I think we're going to try a little bit of this. A little bit of both. You, you guys aren't... Oh, there. yes. Oh, yes. That's definitely looking uh, chunky. I was getting a, a bit sick Speaking off this Speaking of pudding. chunky. Well, all right, before we get into that, 
I wanted to get into the subject of colors, different colors. Yeah, because I, I take the main lead. A brown. Okay, because I've had a lengthy meal of, let's say, cabbage. Stuffed <coughs> Arabic cabbage. Stuffed cabbage. It has a tomato. Stuffed Arabic sauce. cabbage. Mm. Well, it's not, it's, it's not Arabic cabbage, but it is an Arab meal. And it keeps haunting you for days later. Exactly. Days later, you'll release some flatulence, and you'll know it's yours, and you'll be proud that it's yours. And you'll think, darn it. It's that stuffed cabbage. It's a good thing. It's that stuffed cabbage. Well, it's, I think it's kind of a bonding uh, type of thing where you and the food uh, become friends. Well, literally, you become one in a chemical reaction. Working together uh, to produce for your purpose. Wonderful form of art, which we call it. Well, no, well you know, that's, that's what's left over. That's like the tailpipe. You put the gas in the car. Gas. Going in. Oh, yeah. mm. Going in. It goes into the gas tank where it's processed. It gets the, gets and the you are one. You are one with you the know. Food. And if you do a little backfire once in a while, that's okay. No, that's but see, I think that's where where the relationship really comes into uh, being, like uh, where you and the the food are working together to produce a new substance, both uh, horrifying and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, offensive. Well, and yeah, I just annoying. wanted to point something out. Immature, immature. At the same time, immature, at, the same time. Uh, at the same time, it's engrossing. Yeah, yeah. I just engrossing. So you look at it and you can't... Oh, well, I'm not talking about it. the type that you look at. I mean, it's mostly the type that you would be smelling. It would be lingering in the air or something. Yeah, I just want to point something out. Um, the earlier clip we saw of, of Mike, uh, Mike, Bell. Mike Bell, I believe, he said he w was... Oops, oh, doing a little... It's not quite <laughs> chunky enough. So Makes my book stand up. Not like but I, was just, I just wanted to express my amazement. Mike, if you're out there watching... And I know he is. You're, you're a true American hero, Mike. He can you, write his name. Writing your name in cursive. By no, God, he that's didn't amazing. Say, he didn't say he's done it. But he, he said, said he'd be he, willing. He, he, Mike wanted me to tell the story. And oh, I the Taco Bell story. Exactly. Uh -huh. I'd be remiss <coughs> if I did not. He and his friend, whose name I won't use, no, but had gone to Taco Bell. But this sounds so far-fetched well, to me. No, I, and they had gone several times. They were on vacation somewhere. And they had gone several times in one day to Taco Bell. So by the end of the day, he had to use the Taco Bell bathroom. And when he did, well, he not he only came. defecated, he not only farted, he sneezed and coughed at the same time. That, oh, that and burp. That's amazing. I, I missed the burp. That's amazing. Taco well, smell food. Let me let me understand this correctly. He was defecating. Yes. And but at the same time, was there a big like explosion, kind of rumble from the bathroom? At the same time, but he, he was burping. Yes. And what else was? Meanwhile, he, he was, was he was blowing his nose no, or he, something. He just sneezed. Oh, he sneezed. It's that like is, it came from the very I think pit of his soul. The sneeze, it's, it's, the all the organs, all the organs. it's all the organs working together. All the excretion organs getting together as a team. The a sneeze person. being we're gonna, catalyst. We're going to give it our best. The, yeah. Personally, I wouldn't be surprised if his eardrums exploded. Yeah. Uh, well, or if they at least bled. I would not be surprised I think he was, uh, years of therapy wouldn't uh, help him out. But no, he liked it. He enjoyed oh, it. He did. He embraced the experience. Well, because that's not something that happens every day. I see. You know, he felt it, he liked it, and other people didn't like it very much. He, there were comments as they were leaving the Taco Bell that were oh, not too flattering. Oh, about. well, you know, there's always people who just don't understand I the jealous. bond that a human no, can feel with his experience. Oh, that's jealousy, what I wanted. Jealousy, really. I think those, that's what those I wanted to bring up. Yeah, inadequate, inadequate as far as it, it that's comes That's what I wanted to bring up. When does the excretion cease being part of the human way that it comes from? When? Is it actually when it once it hits the water, once it leaves, the, once the sphincter unclenches? Well, you releases? know, I gotta say, I gotta yeah, say, when I, I hear I, when I hear that sploosh, I shed a tear every time because I know part of me is going with that log. That's I, true. When you pinch a loaf, every time, that's part of I you. I see. Part of your very soul. I see. Okay. I mean, I, it's the not best just part, the best it's time not just food. food. It's you and the food coming together in the product. The best times you gotta admit are when, are when you can act, when you can actually tell what you ate. Oh, can oh, I, can can I bring up? Uh, uh, I wanted. Uh, it, it's it's a little dream of mine. Perhaps uh, maybe some other people share share this lovely dream. I have a vision that that uh, one day I will be able to uh, vomit on command. And and it, let me tell you some of the uses. Is this for projectile it. vomiting or just normal? Oh, you mean not without use of hands or anything? Yeah, if you could, if you were standing around and then. Are you, you talking full stomach discharge or are you talking just kind of a? <clears throat> no, I'm I'm talking a, a full, 
a gush of, of full discharge. Yes, so yes you're as in as in. What do, you, what do you what do you mean you, you gave me a C on that term paper? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? I see. How do you then, take uh, a step? I see. So you're using what your do you mean as a weapon here? Right. Right. You, right. you know, I was wondering. Well, that love I, connection thing. That I wanted. Was, I wanted. This is so, somewhat on the same lines as what you were saying. I wanted to know well, if you were to swallow the hose to uh, an air compressor, could you actually shoot your excrement? Through your anus at other people, where you uh, do, obviously, you know, obviously I don't not. think that's no, feasible. That's, I don't that, think that's maybe feasible. surgically not, installed not your speculation uh, without air damage. damage. You're a dreamer, really. Yeah, you're, and that's okay, because you got okay. your head you're in the a One day, yeah, when it comes to excrement, I, I just, it's like I'm in love. We had to break your heart, babe. It's a love story. It's not gonna work. Air compressor, even with surgery, a boy and his juices. I uh, think, I'm, really think I'm gonna look into that because I would really be maybe some type of, 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 of installing in a, a machine. Yeah, but wait, what about technology? Back to really? your back to your vomiting. Oh, uh, there was another. Uh, wait, you, did you did, have you taken steps like certain types of food? Like uh, have, have you, you experimented with garlic? Uh, have you experimented with? If, you know, uh, are you familiar that's with the, the juice? The, the thing Ipecac? that makes you puke. Exactly. Right, like take a couple drops or something. I mean, castor oil and a good punch to the stomach. I find is I think Chris account. found his own little, and, and you can find it in any home, which is what's so great about it. You want to tell oh, the little the, garlic? The lovely story. garlic. Well, uh, yeah. um, I, I was trying to gross my cousin out, you see, with uh, uh, we have some lovely Deutsch. Uh, trying to gross my cousin out. I couldn't think of, of a sufficient way to do it, so I uh, took some garlic and I was trying to swallow it, and it just wasn't working really. Uh, the, the heaving motions were coming in, so I spit the garlic out. Uh, but then proceeded to vomit on the kitchen floor, which which, which was scrambled which, eggs, which produced uh, which produced a, a more uh, favorable gross side effect than than the gross <laughs> breath that I could have gotten from the, exactly. the garlic could have ever. Wow! Produced. Not to mention you ended up with the grossest breath imaginable. You did have scrambled you had eggs garlic that morning, on your breath, now, as well as anything well, you, the night before. It was you, scrambled eggs. Well, you you know what a combo. You know me, and I always like to go the second mile with anything. Like go. So did you did you then proceed? To re no, well, not only not only was she grossed out by the fact that, that I'd vomit on the Is floor, but tea? yeah, okay. uh, and and then so I put down some paper to soak it up, oh, yeah. and then I just I would walk up to her and pretend I was reading the newspaper with the uh -huh. vomit laden. Uh, I, uh, I remember that. Yes, that I don't know. The trail is still on the floor. You didn't use because there was stomach like, acid. You didn't That's use, really you didn't use sawdust really. like like janitors use in school. No, I I sent. Uh, oh God, I need to go to the. You talk about the power of suggestion. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, the mind is powerful, and so is the intestine. I think we leave. We need to go right now. Well, we're, out, we're almost out of time here. We just leave and our... And I'd just like to thank our guests for bearing with us. If you got through the entire show, I, I know I did. I know there's certain squeamish individuals who are just too wimpy and a little too girly. You know, I think, actually, Rudy is a little sensitive because but, of... But next Andrew week, is course, is little we'll, little we'll be able to discuss Rudy's girliness another time. Next week, we have our homage to Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek fans, tune in. Uh, Sling on pickup lines. Is that the search for Elvis. And last but not least, there have been unsubstantiated rumors of 20 new girls. See you next week. Hell tough. Yeah. What's the longest bowel movement you've ever had? By that, I mean actual length in inches. Well, me, I'm kind of unique. I'm like a rabbit. Mine comes out in little bit chunks. Little pellets? Little pellets. Great, so... Do you have to eat special food to get it ready, like extra corn that night? You know, well, asparagus. yeah, my roommate makes a lot of corn. A lot of and corn, huh? It goes in one end, comes out the other, just the way it did when it went in. Great, you know, you seem like a man who enjoys his bowel movement. Oh, of course. As I do. Dan Jaheen for Hell's Half Hour, and I'd like to ask you a couple questions. Is that okay?